Okay, so now we have our form built here for pages. Now we're missing an element. If you look at our pages table in the database, we have a users column. We want to be able to associate a user with the page. Now we could just uh, kind of take the easy way out and go ahead and send the ID number of the user who's already logged in. And uh, that could work in most situations, but uh, there might be a situation where you might want to assign the page to another user. So in that event, it would be nice to have a drop-down box to choose users. So let's build that box. So let's head on down here to our form, and let's go ahead and under the title, we're going to add another form group. So I'm just going to copy one of these and paste it in here. Clean that up a little bit. And change the name here, the label, to user. Make sure we change all the appropriate areas here to user. And uh, we need to change input to a select to put a closing select as well. And this is going to create a select box or a drop down box. So go ahead and give some space here. And we can go ahead and take the type equals text out of here. We do want the name and we're going to put user for that. And ID is going to be user and we do not have a placeholder property for these select boxes. So a select box has two parts, the select tag and then the option tags inside of it. The options are going to be the uh, list items in the, uh, the drop box. Let's go ahead and make an option. And what goes in between the option tags is going to be what's visible, so what you choose from. And let's go ahead and give the option of no user. Now we need to give this a value. So inside the option tag, the first one, let's go ahead and do value equals. We'll make that zero. So if they select this option, we're going to return a zero to the database. And we'll go ahead and use this option tag here as a uh, kind of template for the rest of them. So after that, let's go ahead and give us some space and we're going to do some PHP tags. And we're going to run a query. So Q equals we're going to do select all from users, and we'll go ahead and order by first name. So order by, and we call that column first. I'm going to do ascending. Now we need to go ahead and run the query, save it in the R variable. Send it to connection and the query. And let's go ahead and do a while loop. So while, we'll just do user list equals MySQL I fetch asoc. And we need to send it the R variable. And then our curly bracket. And get rid of the second curly bracket because we're going to break the PHP. So bring this closing PHP tag up here. Give yourself some space. And we need to put in our closing curly bracket. There you go. So let's go ahead and copy this option tag up here. And paste it inside of our while loop. So for the, the label here, or what's visible, we want to do the first and last name of the user. Now what we could do is go ahead and echo those out, just, you know, first name, then concatenate a space, and then the last name. But if you remember a couple videos back, we created a function. And that function can grab all the user's information. We also created a couple of uh, kind of custom keys to store 
different formats of the name. So let's go ahead and take a look at that function really quick. So if you go into functions, and again we're in the admin folder, and we open up data.php. We have our data underscore user function. And this gives us these uh, two options for our full name. We can use this again, and that's the reason why I created it. So over an index, directly after the uh, while, give yourself a line, and we're going to go ahead and create another array here, and we'll call it uh, user underscore data equals, and then we'll run that user data underscore user function. So data underscore user, and we want the database connection and then the user's ID number, which is going to be user underscore list, because this is what we're creating in the while loop, and we want the ID. So go ahead and close that. Now, something we can do to kind of save some uh, resource here on the server is uh, instead of selecting all from the users here, we really only need the ID because we're going to go ahead and run a second query doing this uh, data user function here, which is going to get all the information. So let's just go ahead and change that all sign to just simply ID. So to recap, that's going to go ahead and run the query it's going to select the ID and give us that, but it's also going to order by first. So we're going to run this while loop and it's going to order everything by the first name in alphabetical order. But in order to get the name and all the other values, we're going to run this data user function and save that into user underscore data, which we can then echo out down here. So in between the option tags, make a PHP tag, the echo user underscore data and we want the full name key which we created in that function so I can close that and close the PHP and let's go ahead and save this and test this out so we'll go ahead and reload the page Here's our Dropbox, and we have an error here. We're not getting the uh, full name being echoed out here, but we are getting slots for the three users that we have in the database. So let's take a look at that. So the error is actually happening because if you remember in our user function, the ID that we're grabbing here is actually not the ID number in the database. We're looking for the email address. So in this next video coming up, I'm going to teach you how to put some conditions in here that kind of uh, will be able to catch what kind of uh, value is being sent here and run the appropriate query.